Welcome back folks to Mr. Bob and John. This one we have for you is the Impossible Whopper. Just coming out here is very comparable to the Whopper. Let's see what they got. John? Hey, it says right here on the packaging that it's flame grilled to perfection. We'll see just how flame grilled or to perfection this is. Now we know from our experiences with the Whopper, the Whopper, this is supposed to basically be the Whopper with a different meat patty. It's, well not a meat patty, it's a fake meat. Whoa, watch that thing John. Watch your fingers there, Mr. Bob. He's lost a few fingers in the past. Luckily, we were able to reattach them. Uh, he's like the uh, he's like Mr. Potato Head over here. So it's traditional with the Whopper, uh, or the the meat Whopper, the beef Whopper. A uh, Whopper comes with a four ounce beef patty, and but this obviously is going to have the Impossible Burger patty. It's going to have the sesame seed bun, as you can see. It's also going to have a some mayo, lettuce, tomato, and I. There should be some pickles in here. Gosh, is that a pickle? I'm not seeing that. This. There we go. I got the pickle for you, John. There we go. There's pickles in there, confirmed. And it's got some ketchup and onion. Definitely got a lot of onion in this one. So, let's look at this patty and see what it looks like. This, folks, I'm kind of amazed. This actually looks as close to the original beef patty as possible. You do have a bit of square edges, which is not typical of a beef patty. Um, it, I normally see rounded edges or kind of a, a flattened edges, but it definitely looks like a beef patty in here. I mean, I'm not sure what exactly how it tastes, but from the marketing, I originally heard they come out with this Impossible Burger. They wanted a burger that looked red before cooking and even bled a little bit. Fake blood, of course, because we're not using real meat. And so, and they wanted this to be a, a vegan patty. This is actually a full vegan patty. However, if you are a true vegan, you're gonna have to note that the mayonnaise here likely has egg in it. And that these patties, unless specifically requested and confirmed by the, your fellow Burger King employees, it's cooked on the same type of grill or the same broiler uh, mechanism they have that they cook all their chicken and beef patties. So there's technically there's a little bit of contamination there, but really, you're doing real good for the environment and for the animals and our, our furry critters out there, as long as you're ordering this versus a beef patty, if that's what you're concerned about. Stop flapping your lips, John. Get to work. <laughs> you got food to eat. All right. So Mr. Bob over here is giving me the signal, if you will, that he's done and ready to talk about his experience. All right. So again, starting, they're comparing it to the original Whopper here. I definitely like the sesame seed bun. That's good. And it's about the exact same size as the original Whopper, so there's no decrease in size. Um, definitely much more comparable. Again, let's go ahead and well, worry about the buns and the vegetables. That's about the same. Patty's where we really need to discuss things, right? I mean, you can see here they actually even did try to get a little bit of those flame grilled marks on there for sure. And it's the right color, a lot much more consistency. You don't see vegetable pieces and everything in here. It's definitely much more of a real simulated meat. And I'll say it has a very good mouthfeel. Not quite as flavorful as, as an actual beef hamburger, but a much, much better simulation. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a thumbs up and say, this is a pretty good attempt. This is the Impossible Offer. Now remember, it's trying to compete with like the Beyond Burger or the Beyond Taco. So we're trying to move in this in this greener, more sustainable food chain is the general concept here. Uh, it's got mostly pro or potatoes, potato and soy protein. A little bit of coconut oil, sunflower oil. That's basically the primary ingredients that they're using to create it. And I would say overall, pretty good job. And I'm, I'm amazed, folks. Looks like John's just about done, and I'm not going to have to get the push broom out for a change. It is amazing. Well, John, what did you think? Well, every now and then, sometimes I don't make a mess. It, this is going to be a once-in-a-lifetime situation. So, yeah, I am actually impressed. I mean... Every single type of meat substitute I've tried is definitely not meat. This one has, it's akin to beef, but it's a very light flavor. Definitely not as strong as the beef flavor. It's definitely a little bit thicker, or it seems like it's a little thicker. Not really notably thicker, but I mean, you can look at it and compare it to the original one. I mean, like they add a little bit of thickness here, possibly so it doesn't fall apart. Looks like it's cooked well. It really looks like a beef patty. Mr. Bob over here decides. I couldn't a, find a napkin. You looked as yeah, you're good enough. You got stacks of napkins over here. He's just is blind, folks. I I do apologize. We didn't talk about his handicap before, but uh, my mouth hole works. That's all that matters. <laughs> so the, the beef patty here definitely it looks like a beef patty. They really got the look down here. Um, I gotta say, if I didn't know any better, 
um, I would think that maybe that's beef. Not very flavorful beef, but it works the same. So if you really wanted the burger experience, you really have a hankering for beef, this is a great substitute. They really got it with all the flavors are there. You can taste the tomato, you can taste the, uh, the pickles. They got plenty of mayo on here. Now, to, I've had um, most of my experience as a Burger King, they tend to be a little dry, but today they definitely sauced it up. They got a lot of sauce in here. But yeah, if your thing is to not eat beef, this is a great, a great substitute. It tastes right, it looks right. The mouthfeel is about on par. I mean, maybe a tiny bit. You really have to think about it if you're gonna notice a difference. So I'm definitely giving this, uh, if I didn't wanna eat beef and I was looking for something to eat, that would be two thumbs up. Cause this is about the best beef substitute I've seen. And it's, it's very comparable. All right, stop flapping your lips. That pretty much covers it for Mr. Bob and John. Remember, let us know what you think in the comments down below. Click link, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so we can find our new videos. We'll see you next week, folks.